Welcome back to my hashtag under 1000 group build of my P51 Mustang in 130 second scale by Tamiya. Uh, when I last left it, we were dealing with the um, cockpit area, pilot, um, the two sides of the fuselage. Um, we've progressed slightly. Um, we've I've managed to get the uh, radiator or oil uh, cooling ducts done. Um, this one is going to go into the side of the aircraft by that point there, and then we're going to close all the fuselage up and um, move on to the next part, which will be starting the radiator shutters exhausts um, and some pieces around the engine bay um, and then dealing with the rudder I'll get back to you when I have something more to show see you in a bit hello back again you can see from the uh, video we've uh, the pilot and everything in and all the body or the main fusion large part is uh, buttoned up well I say buttoned up is is together buttoned up would be the whole thing um, but, but progressed a little bit further than what I said I was going to progress uh, in the last section uh, I've got the exhaust uh, bearings on here, I am put the um, bearings, they're not fairings are they, the main part of the, ex the where the exhaust fairing should go on, uh, same with the um, cooler tank and the front of the aircraft here, I've got that on. Uh, I'm not putting the exhaust bits on until a little bit later because that means I think I'll try and cover them up while I paint so they're going to go on a, a little bit after that um, what else did we do on here right so there was a piece I had to cut off here uh, which wasn't on the early version and there is like, I don't know if there was a hole there that I had to fill in for the uh, early version. So I've got that done. Um, here we've got the, let me add it. Let me get it in picture now. There's a bit of photo etching there, which is um, an aerial on the back you don't really see that in the Eddard kits or anything like that that I can recall is having this uh, aerial on the back but it's a nice addition it's a change let's see if we can get you in on the pilot so he's all painted up it's really poor camera work I'm sort of working with a bit of natural light and room of light from the from the front room, and unfortunately, it's uh, this camera don't like it. So I can only show you roughly what I've got done. Uh, oh yeah. So with the what was it called again? Um, I think it was the oil. Uh, radio or uh, an oil cooling duct so here's the oil um god say come on get your head it's it, yes it's the oil oil cooler duct so that actually moves up and down uh that's where the little magnet is that's what holds it back down in place uh, this hole here will be filled uh, later on with uh, the one or two options sorry about all the umming and ahhing that 
hole there is the peg for it in flying mode. And obviously in when it's not in flying mode, that'll be covered up. That's what that's for, if you're wondering. Uh, and then we've got the radiator cooling uh, shutter. Again, that opens up. See the piece of photo etch arm, which is just there, which allows it to open and close. That's what one, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven pieces just for that tiny little bit there. I've uh, got PE on the photo etch on the side, as you see, it's a lot shinier than the rest of the aeroplane. Um, yeah, that's where I am at. I've got some photo etch to hold this square. It's got a kind of tiny, tiny little piece of photo etch. Goes on either side of the wing. So the next point, or the next part, shall I say, is dealing with the... Um, he leaning on that. I'm going to break it, so let's just push that back in for a sec. Um... Right, so the next part is the carburetor duct. Is this up the top here? Uh, the pipe works. So the, we see where the carburetor duct goes. It goes here, and that's going to have a magnet on. We've got to have a magnet in it and a piece of subframe that goes across. Uh, you've got pipe work. Uh, two lots of pipe work to go from. Um, uh, look from here. I guess that's what these. No, it's either side of there. Sorry. So out of here and from here, that's got to go across there. Then we're switching over, and we're going to go from uh, attaching the cowling frame top and pipe work, which is attached under that, which is in here. Not in shot, excuse me. Let's move some stuff up. Didn't realise this was never not in shot problem. Okay, so there we go. It's a bit more review of the uh, actual plan. So again, we've got the cowling frame top. Just going to go across there with the bit of pipe work which runs across the top of the engine. And then we've got the rudder work to do. These are these are moving rudders. Excuse me, all moving rudders. So we've got these pins. That's what these were. We couldn't figure out what they were for. Uh, but this is for all the rudder and aerolon, aerolons, etc. That's what that's what all these are for. Uh, so smaller ones in there. Uh, plus photo which um, parts there so yeah now I know what they're for that's what goes in in there to make those two move they're tiny 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 little rod yeah so that's where I'm aiming to be in the next video so this one's gonna have to be a short one um it's watching this lot should be done by the time I put another video out I'll have all this done so thanks for watching I appreciate my subscribers all the old ones and the new ones I do very much appreciate you supporting me and my channel um, what can I say have a good day have a great weekend. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.